So first, I like to open up the wrist and the forearms. So you find a comfortable seat, you sit up tall. It, it may be helpful to sit on a prop. Good. And now bring your palms to shoulder height. Good. And you spread your fingers. And you, it's as if you're trying to press the walls away from you. Good. So it's that intensity. Spread your fingers more. So you notice this is a rest, wrist stretch. Breathe. Good, and on your exhale, curl the fingers one at a time into a fist. Draw the fist straight down. Good. Take a breathe. Good, inhale, fingers float up to the sky. Just the fingers. Good, spread your fingers once again. Wrist, take a breath. And exhale into a fist. Fist goes down, this time towards me. So you're likely getting into the forearms. The more the fist draws in, the deeper the stretch, and you can press. Another breath here. Good. Fist draws down now, and back. Make sure you lift up through the chest here. Let's breathe. Good. Last one. I know it's burning. Inhale. Fingers float to the sky. Press. Take a nice, slow, delicious breath. Thumb into palm, this one's a little different, thumb into palm, fingers over thumb, then you, you straighten the arms like this, and then you draw the wrist straight down, just like this, very subtle movement, one, two inches, get into the sides of the wrists. Very nice, release the palms. You can take a gentle twist so you can bring your palms over to one side of, the, of your knees, lift up to the chest as you twist, take a full breath, feel your back expand, good, just flow over to the other side, full breath, and back to center. So let's open up the neck and the shoulders, this is one of my favorite stretches, all these stretches are my favorite stretches. So, your left palm is by your side, the elbow bent. Right palm reaches up and over your head like this. So you reach through the fingers. You feel this area of your body, the side body, open. Take another full inhale. And on your exhale, just the palm comes to shoulder height like this. So if you haven't done so already, your neck completely relaxes over the left shoulder. And you reach and you spread through the right fingertips. And the more you do that, the deeper the stretch. And, if you ha and also, get your breath much fuller, but slower and more relaxed as you breathe here. Good, and on your next exhale, at the head and neck drop forward, like about four to five inches, and you get this back of the neck, and really keep reaching, take a few delicious breaths into your neck. And on your exhale now, let the palm float down, let's come over to the other side to reach. Keep reaching. So keep staying focused with your body and breath. And on your exhale, let the palm come all the way to shoulder height or slightly lower. Let the neck completely fall over the right shoulder. Let the right shoulder relax away from the air. Spread through the left fingers and breathe. It's good to start your day by really getting grounded in your body. So just feel your breath, feel the stretch in the neck. Or at any time of the day, it's important to be in your body and, not, and get out of your head. Good, on your next exhale, let the head and neck drop forward. Let's do a good three to four more breaths. Fuller breaths though.
And on the exhale, let's rise back to back up. Good. Let's let's do some more. So this this whole is geared towards your upper body. So you can remove your prop off to the side. Bring your feet in front of you. Good. And you're gonna rock just a few times. Rock the knees from side to side, just to just to gently warm up the hips. Just to take a few breaths. Stay connected to the subtle movement. Good. And the next time you come over to the right side, let the knee come down and you're going to reach. This is a nice side body stretch. So reach, reach, reach through the fingers. Let the neck relax as well. Good. And a variation to this that I like now is to let that palm that's reaching, let it kind of drop in front of you. It doesn't come all the way down. And then you flare this upper back, kind of like when you do the cats, like that. You flare it, and the pinky wraps in like this. And you just feel your back expand with your inhale. Good, and now on your exhale, let's float down. Flow over to the other side. We're going to reach once again. Neck can relax. Feel your breath, your your ribs. <laughs> Feel your breath in your ribs. And if you do, if you did that on the other side, you can let that palm reaching drop as you kind of round a bit. But lifting the upper back and getting your inhale so big and full that it, you feel the muscle fibers opening. Very nice. And on your exhale, we're going to float down and over to the other side. And this time, to the best of your ability, you're going to take a little bit of a back bend. So you're going to begin to just drop back. Maybe it's just an inch or two. Maybe it's more. You can rip let the neck relax as well as you reach through the fingers. Feel your breath expand up the ribs, into the chest, into the throat, out the fingers. Good. And on your exhale, let's flow down and over to the other side. So maybe take a very similar back bend. Reaching, spreading, relax the neck. Literally feel your breath rise up the ribs, into the chest, into the throat. Very nice. And then slowly come forward. So we're going to turn on the core a bit. The core is so important. So I often include it in all my classes. We're not going to go too crazy, but we're definitely going to turn it on a bit. So this is these are the eagle crunches. Some of you are, are, have done this before. So you come onto your back. It looks like this. We'll start with the right leg over the left, and the, and the legs flat up. Right elbow under the left, like this. Okay, if you can't tuck the right toes under the calf, that's fine. But the key is to hug the legs together, hug the elbows together. And another key is we want lower core action in these crunches. So you, instead of when we, you crunch, try not to do this and letting the knees rock like that. You want the knees to go straight up like this. Your butt literally lifts straight up. So that's hard. Try that once or two times just to feel that. And like I was saying, do the best you can. So let's inhale, rise the, sh the shoulders towards the knees. To exhale, lower. Good, and let's do another one, or two more like this. Inhale, rise. And exhale, lower. Take fuller breaths. Inhale, rise. And exhale, lower. Good. Let's re now you come up for extended breath, so it's going to burn a little bit. You inhale, rise for two breaths. And lower. 
this time three breaths. So you inhale, let's do three to four breaths. Inhale, rise. Relax the face, hug the legs, scoop, keep scooping the tailbone and the butt. Two more breaths. And exhale, release the binds. Very nice. Take a breath. Let's do the other side. So this time, left leg over the right. And we get the shins, shins up like this. Left elbow under the right, eagle arms. And we'll do the crunches. On the inhale, scoop that tailbone rise. And exhale, lower. So there's no rush in any of these poses with the breath or the pose. Inhale, rise. And exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. And exhale, lower. Good. Extended breaths. Inhale, rise for a solid two breaths. Very nice. And lower. Take a breath. Last one. When you're ready, inhale up for about four breaths. Come on up. Feel the heat and keep breathing. Come up higher. And lower. Very nice. Very nice. Take a breath. You can even bring the feet together, knees apart, palms behind your head. Just for two breaths, three, maybe three or so breaths. Full breaths here. Into the ribs, into the chest, into the groin. Very nice. And then draw the knees back together. Grab hold of the knees of the thigh, or hug in towards the chest. And begin to rock forward and backwards a few times. If it does not hurt your lower back. Good. Next time you come forward, come all the way forward. Let's make our way to tabletop position. Like this. Good. And let's press back into downward dog here. So your hips press back and your heels press back, but you want to flare the upper back. So it's as if my palm is on your upper back. Flare that forward, and then rock your hips from side to side as you walk out your dog. Breathing, breathing. Relax your neck. If you're holding the head up at all, relax it. Feel free to open your mouth as wide as you can. Let out some sighs if you'd like. Very nice. Come onto the knees and onto your belly. One of my favorite poses, cobra pose. We'll do a low cobra. Your palms can walk in front of the shoulders a few inches. Elbows are tucked inwards like this. The, the energy of this is you pull your palms in toward your ribs as you lift your ribs and chest forward like this. So this may be even a little high. You can go lower if you'd like. But the key is to literally feel your ribs expand with each inhale. Shoulders are wrapping back. Chest is lifting you forward with each inhale. Very nice. Exhale, lower. I'm going to do another core pose, so just turn on a little bit more warmth. It's called the boat pose. It's an amazing core strengthener. It looks like this. Interlace fingers behind the lower back. And then draw the shoulders back and together. And then press into your pelvis as you rise into boat pose. Good. The neck can relax. So it's as if you're you can't see my toes, but you reach through the toes. They're reaching. And you also kind of reach through that crown of the head. 
So if you look at this little movement of my shoulders, so this is neutral, and then draw the shoulders back and together like this, as if my fingers were in your back. Squeeze my fingers. Breathing. So we're going to do just another handful. It's gonna, it burns a little bit. Stay with it. And on your exhale, lower. Very nice. Let's press back into a child's pose for just a few breaths. Spread the knees. The big toes can touch. And you press your hips back. Palms walk forward. Rest your forehead down. If you really, so if you want to stretch the back here and make it a little more active, you can reach the palms forward and feel the back stretch. Very nice. Let's make our way back into table. So this is one of my favorite stretches, or it, it's a very powerful strengthening pose. So you can build a lot of strength doing this. It's called the dolphin. You come onto your elbows, grab your, so let your palms grab your biceps. That's the distance to measure your, your, your arms. And then the, the forearms can either be parallel with each other or interlace the fingers. If you're new to this, interlace the fingers. Tuck your toes under. And, but the key to this is to relax your neck and get the cat energy in the spine like this. You see that? So it's like cat cows, like this is the cat energy. That's the energy in the spine of the pose the whole time. So relax the neck, cat energy, good. Press your hips up and back into dolphin pose. Press your hips back and your heels back. And press your elbows forward and your upper back forward in the cat energy of the spine. It's as if there's like tennis balls in your armpit. Kind of try to wrap your lats around that, wrap around them. And this is a good one to open the jaw and mouth as wide as you can. Stretch out the jaw. Take some size if you'd like. Mouth exhales if you'd like. Three more breaths. Stay with it. No, it's burning. Just one or two more. Good. And on your exhale, let's come on to the knees. Hmm. Come to your tabletop. And let's do some cat-cow poses. So on your inhale, you look up and your belly drops. And on your exhale, you press into the palms and you round. Inhale, look up, pull your chest forward, lift it forward, exhale, press and round and pull the belly up to the spine, empty everything out. So move with your own breath, make sure you fill all the way up, and then make sure on the exhales you empty everything out. Notice if there's any rush in you or your breath. How does it show up? Is it in your mind? Acknowledge it, but just relax. Just come back to the, to the pose. Relaxing the breath. Good. Do one or two more. Just know this is a really good one to do before you go to bed. It relaxes your nervous system. Very nice. Let's press back now into downward facing dog. Make sure you're puffing the upper back up. Good. And then you step or jump forward in the forward fold pose.
So this is a very passive fold. You grab your elbows, you relax your neck, you breathe fully up the back. Th these, these folds are done with the feet hips width distance. So if the feet are together, spread them. If, and if the knees collapse together like this, lift through the thighs to spread the knees. Good. Maybe bob a little bit. This is another one, a good one to do before bed. Very yin pose. On your inhale, so I'm not going to demo this because I'll come out of the camera. I want you to inhale and rise all the way up. Your neck and head come up last. Good. So once you're up, I want you to inhale the fingers all the way to the sky. Interlace the fingers. Good. Hold, so you interlace fingers, and I want you to energetically try to like pull your arms apart. They're literally, they're not going to really move, but it's just energetic. And at the same time, feet are still hip, hips with distance. You energetically pull your legs apart and keep reaching up and apart. And you get your inhale so full and big. You have this big container for your breath. It's as if you can breathe all the way into your belly. Take a few of those. Good, and on your exhale, I want you to fold all the way forward. And you can bend the knees if you'd like for this. Place your palms on the mat to step back into plank position. Good, so if the hips are sagging like this, lift them up. If the shoulders are like this, melt your heart a little bit. Breathe. There's a little bit of core. And then you can drop the knees if you'd like for this. I always do that. And then r lower all the way onto your belly. Rise into your cobra. Maybe just a little bit higher than you did before. Still feeling the expansiveness of each rib opening on the inhales. Shoulders wrap back. The more you come up in your cobra, the more you need to scoop your tailbone. Good, and on your exhale, lower. Let's press back into downward facing dog once again. Really press your hips back, press your heels back. Curl the toes up a little bit towards your knees. See what that feels like. Good, and then you can step or jump forward, forward fold once again. You, now you're gonna bring your feet Hips with distance. No, no, I'm sorry, not hips with distance. Uh, you're going to take a nice wide legged stance with your feet. Good. And then interlace fingers behind your lower back. And then draw the chest forward and let the arms carry up over your head like this. So the neck can completely relax. Shoulders can draw away from the ears to get a nice neck elongation. Keep drawing the arms up and over the head. Breathing into the chest, slow your breath down. Two more. Very nice, slowly release the palms down. One of my favorite stretches now. Walk your palms over to the left. If you can grab hold of your foot, ankle, or shin, do that. Otherwise, just place them down firmly on whatever material you're on. Relax the neck. And then draw your ribs energetically to the right, the opposite side, with your breath. You're not really going to move much. Fuller breath. Good, and back to center. I'm gonna do the other way now. Walk your palms over to the other side. So likely the right. Grab hold of something if you can. And then draw yourself, your ribs, to the left. Feel the expansiveness of your inhale.
Very nice. Back to center. And come onto the knees. And turn yourself, if you've turned at all, you can turn yourself back facing the, the front, the I way you started. down. You might sink the hips back a little bit to get into this. You reach with your right palm kind of behind this left palm, this left arm, to grab the, the left foot. So the right palm grabs the left foot, relax the neck, hold on to the foot, and now just sink your hips forward maybe a few inches. And this is the pose. Breathe. The breath is going to do all the work for you here. Just breathe. Two more. And sink your hips back to come out. Release that. Good. Let's do the other side. So, right palm is down. The hips are back a bit. Left palm reaches kind of in. So, left palm grabs hold of right foot. Good. Make sure the neck is relaxed. Sink your hips forward. Very nice. So, this is one of those amazing poses where if if you're tight there, you could probably stay here for 10, 20 breaths. So feel free to do this again sometime before you go to bed. Mm, very nice, and then sink it's back to come out. We're winding down. Come onto your back. We're going to do a shoulder stand. It's good to get a daily inversion, and it's good for digestion and blood flow. So elbows by your side. Rock your hips up to support your lower back with your palms to rise into your half shoulder stand. So this is it. The weight should be pretty effortlessly held. So these, the elbows, if it's hard, Draw the elbows closer together. And you notice how easy it is to breathe into your belly when you're upside down. Just breathe. And then you can exhale now. Sink your hips down. Wind down, close with a twist. Bring your arms to a T. Let the right leg come over the left. It may be helpful to kind of lift the hips up, rock them a few inches to the right to let the knees now come to the left and the gaze come to the right for a nice spinal twist. Make sure you keep that full breath that you've cultivated. Try to keep that into your day. Okay, let the knees rise. I'm going to do the other way now. Left leg over the right. You might move the hips a few inches to the left to let the knees come to the right. Gaze left for a nice little spinal twist. Let your breath be so full you feel it expand into the lower back and left hip. That's the breath I'm talking about. A few more of those. Very nice. Knees rise. Happy baby pose. So the feet can spread. Knees apart. See if you can get your butt down a little bit closer to the ground. You can rock from side to side to give your back and spine and lower back a little bit of a massage. A 
Very nice. And when you're ready, come all the way onto your back. I highly recommend just spending a minute of Shavasana in which you just, just plop down. Let all the thoughts float by. All the sounds float by.